Welcome my dear learners for this course on operations research. In this module 1, we were discussing on formulation of linear programming problems and solving linear programming problems using graphical method. We were discussing on additional problems on LPP using graphical approach, the problem number 13 and the final problem of our discussion on graphical solution for LPP states that solve the following linear programming problem graphically Zmax is equal to minus 4x1 plus 3x2 subjected to x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 0 x1 is less than or equal to 4 and x1 and x2 are positive values come let us solve the final problem of a discussion on linear programming problem coming for the solution first convert these two constraints into equation and find the values of x1 and x2 the first constraint what we have is x1 minus x2 is equal to 0 is the equation from the first constraint so hence we will get the condition as x1 is equal to x2 so therefore build the line put x x2 is equal to 1 we will get x1 as 1 put x2 is equal to 2 we will get x1 as 2 put x2 is equal to 3 you will get x1 as 3 put x2 is equal to 4 we will get x1 as 4 so therefore like that you will get a line till infinity comma infinity correct so therefore this is a line at 45 degrees next we have from the second constraint x1 is equal to 4 so therefore the coordinates are 4 comma 0 so these are the two constraints what we have come let us solve it graphically so if i go for graphical solution for this problem we have the highest in x and y axis as infinity let me solve it for a finite values so since we have x1 at 4 let me solve it for 5 or 6 so right we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is x2 we know that for a linear programming problem always y axis represents x2 and x axis represents x1 so similarly x axis we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and so on so this is variable x1 and also we have the isoprofit line so isoprofit line is obtained from the given objective function so from the given objective function i will get the isoprofit line as z max is equal to minus 4x1 plus 3x2 so therefore minus 4x1 is equal to minus 3x2 hence x1 by x2 will become 3 by 4 so the isoprofit line starts with a coordinate of 3 by 4 first let us find the feasible region so if i go for feasible region we have a line at 45 degrees correct we have a line at 45 degrees 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 like that 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 till infinity right so we have one line till infinity we have one line till infinity and we have another line x1 is equal to 4 so the coordinates are 4 comma 0 so this is the one we have and it is less than hence it should move towards left it is less than or equal to 4 so this is our second constraint now the question is what about first constraint whether this line should move downward or move upward is the question since we have the line less than or equal to many people will think that this line should move downward which is wrong because the actual constraint speaks that x1 should be less than x2 right what does this speak so that speaks about what it speaks is that x1 minus x2 is less than or equal to 0 means what x1 is less than or equal to 
x2 x1 is equal to x2 on this 45 degree line correct now when does x1 is less than x2 so below this 45 degree line choose any point arbitrarily if i choose any point arbitrarily and check i'll get that always x1 greater than x2 below this 45 degree line put a point arbitrarily anywhere on this space put a point arbitrarily and check the coordinate verify the coordinate definitely will find that x1 value will always greater than x2 value below this 45 degree line above this 45 degree line you put a point anywhere arbitrarily and find the point coordinates of the point what you have put so if i put a point somewhere here if i put a point somewhere here and check if i check i am getting x1 as 5 but if i check x2 will be 7 always above this 45 degree line anywhere you consider x2 is always greater than x1 means what x1 is always less than x2 what i want is correct x1 is always less than x2 is only above this 45 degree line hence this line should move upward not downward kindly make a note this is our first constraint if you take this as less than or equal to hence it should move downward without thinking that then this will become the fe feasible region and you'll get with the wrong answer kindly make a note the constraint states that x1 should be less than or equal to x2 means at any given point x x2 should be equal to x1 or x2 should be greater than x1 so x2 should be equal to x1 only on this 45 degree line and above this line wherever you have this region if you pick a point and measure the coordinate always x2 will be greater than x1 hence this is the region for constraint number one so if you carefully observe it is not bounded so if you carefully observe the solution space is not bounded so this is the solution space so this is the solution space so there is no boundary for solution space because x1 can reach only up to a value of 4 because x1 should be less than or equal to 4 hence x1 can reach only till value of 4 what about x2 x2 can go till infinity right so from the observation we found that the value of x1 the value of x1 can increase only till 4 whereas the value of x2 can increase can increase indefinitely can increase indefinitely it can take till infinity so since the solution space is unbounded the feasible region is unbounded hence the solution is the problem has the problem has So this completes our discussion on solution for linear programming problems using graphical method and also always remember whenever you have the RHS of a constraint as 0 carefully inspect and identify the solution space. If you would have taken the solution space as this one then definitely you will get the answer you would have got the answer as this point. So this point is x1 is 4 x2 is greater than 4 is the solution for this problem. So then your answer would have gone wrong, completely wrong. So therefore, inspect properly and identify whether the line should move upward or downward whenever we have the RHS of the constraint as zero. So this completes our discussion on graphical solution for linear programming problems. From our next lecture, we'll move on to module two, wherein which we'll be discussing on analytical solution for linear programming problems, that is simplex method. That's all from this lecture and this module. Thank you all.